Hi, I'm Mark with American Tank Company. We're here at 501 American Way in Windsor. Got a beautiful shop. I can't wait to show it to you. And I'm super excited about starting this video series on tanks, fittings, all sorts of stuff. Come on, this is gonna be awesome. Hi, today we're gonna be putting in this four inch uh, Rhino stainless steel. It's a bolted tank fitting. Um, it's type 316 stainless. I already took the hardware off the top. So first thing you're gonna do to install this guy is gonna get the face plate off. Um, oh, and I gotta show you our gasket. This is just so cool. We, we call these our power seal gaskets. And if you zoom in, you can, you can see how we got three molded in ridges around every bolt hole and even all the way around the uh, perimeter of the fitting body itself. So uh, it just makes an incredible seal. And uh, nobody makes anything like this. In fact, it's lifetime warranty. If you break it, if you break a stud, we'll just send the fitting back, we'll give you another fitting. Um, we've only had it happen a couple times in 20 years and, and uh, we know why it broke because they didn't use anti-seize. So um, anyhow, uh, but uh, we gave them a fitting anyways, and we told them you probably want to use anti-seize next time. So everyone was happy. Anyways, today Peter's going to be installing this in the tank, and we're ready to go. Uh, like we talked about in our last video, we have measured three times because we're going to cut once. Um, and so, and when they laid this fitting out, I'm going to show you really quick. The one thing you always want to do when you're putting it on any kind of a tank, especially a poly tank, is you see this bottom radius here on the tank? Well, you cannot get the fitting too low where it's going to interfere with that radius because no matter how tight you tighten it, it's not going to seal. So we don't push it too tight. I mean, we still leave about an inch or so of clearance um, when we install it. So that's just standard practice. Um, so Peter's going to go ahead. First thing, um, we've got it laid out and he's going to take the correct size hole saw. Yeah. And you can rock the whole saw around a little. Sometimes that helps a little. There you go. So pretty easy to cut these holes in a, in a poly tank. So um, next step here is going to be to get that burr off quick. And we're using the deburr tool. Um, and just a light touch on it is all it typically takes. Sometimes there's hardly any burr uh, around the hole. Yeah, we use that and we'll use a little piece of sandpaper and uh, just make sure that there's no, no gouges, um, no burrs, because that's where crack would start. So um, putting fittings in these tanks pretty darn easy. Any little hairs left, you just pull them off. And again, no sharp gouges, no sharp edges, and you're good to go. Next thing we're going to do is Peter's going to take the face plate for this fitting. We're going to use it as a drill template. And we have a couple little uh, C-clamps that make it super easy. So he's going to center it on that hole uh, that he uh, just drilled in the tank well. This is a Norwesco 5,000 gallon low profile. Call him a tuna can. Again, I think that's uh, what we used on the last video we just did. So um, he's going to just get it centered, make it look uh, perfect. Just doing it by eye. And then he's going to go ahead and snug up the first clamp and then install a second one. To hold it all in place and what he's doing is we're uh, we're used to putting on ANSI flanges and stuff so he's clocking the fitting so there's two holes that are straight and level on the top and two on the bottom just like you would with a regular flange fitting and that's so when you go to bolt a valve on that wants to be uh, straight up and down um, not in this case but with an ANSI flange that the valve would come out straight okay so now that he's got, he's going to double check, make sure that the reveal looks good all the way around. And that's it. The stainless makes a great bolt template um, for drilling. And these fittings have half inch studs. So we're going to use a 5 8 drill and we're going to pop those holes in. Again, these are half inch studs on this fitting. So we're using a 5 8 drill and Peter's just going to take his time, going to go uh, gently through the tank wall when he's drilling it in and perpendicular. So the hole's just going straight through. Stainless uh, face plate from the fitting makes a great drill template. So next he'll take the face plate off, just put it aside. Uh, he's going to just check, make sure there's no burrs. You really don't have to deburr these uh, drill holes. Usually are perfect, as you can see. There's just nothing on them. They're just perfect. Um, we'll, we'll double check the inside when we're in there too. Um, 
But that's it. And you can see that literally is just about a minute, maybe two minutes to um, do it and get it prepped to put the fitting in. Again, three most important things. We're going to measure three times. We're going to cut once. So don't get that fitting too low. You do, you get it down here in this corner and you really can ruin a tank. So it's uh, really difficult to fix. There's a few tricks. Maybe we'll talk about it sometime, what you could do if you ever got the fitting down too low. And then uh, deburr your holes and, uh, and then we'll go over the rest. Okay, Peter's inside the tank already. He's got his air monitor on. Um, we're pretty big on safety here and um, and it checked out fine. So again, I wanna really caution everybody on putting fittings in tanks. New, old, um, we just don't climb down into tanks. If, it, if we don't have a side axis, we don't do it. Although I'm gonna show you some tricks sometime how to get a fitting down in a tank without climbing in it. Separate video. For now, Peter's inside and he's got the uh, fitting body and he's gonna go ahead and put it up in the hole and slide it in there and brush the crumbs off. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hold it. A lot of times when you get it on the sidewall, it'll hold itself uh, and that's it. So he's gonna come out and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing assembled and put it together. Remember, anytime a guy is in a tank, you always got somebody on the outside and you wanna have them in a position where if there's a problem in the tank, you can get them out. That's why we always, have the tank laying on its side. Or it has, like on our big field erected tanks that we build, they have side manholes. Again, one guy can stay on the outside of the tank, can monitor what's going on, and if there's a problem, we can slide them out, we can drag them out. But again, if you try and put someone down through the top of a tank, I defy anybody to get a guy out of the tank um, if he's got a problem. You can't do it. You can't get him through that top manway. It's almost impossible. So, safety super important. Okay. So there you go. Uh, nice job, Peter. You even put the uh, Rhino label facing up. I like it. Um, so he's going to go ahead and just put this thing together, um, which isn't a whole lot on our bolted fittings. Faceplate, washers, and nuts. First thing you want to do is just get one on. Now the thing can't go anywhere. Nothing can fall. And, um, and we usually roll the tank down at least to 90 degrees like it is, and we're actually past 90 a little bit, which makes the fitting want to stay in the hole um, when you first insert the fitting body. So Peter's going to just go around, put all the um, lock washers and nuts on, and, and before he does it, he's going to just put a little dab, which is all you need, of any seas. So remember, stainless on stainless wants to gall. So you got to have a little anti seize and a little goes a long ways. And these studs had... Uh, anti seize on them already. We're just putting some more on uh, when we ship our fittings because we do manufacture this product. Um, they ship and they've already got uh, a small amount of anti seize on them. Okay, now that we've got the uh, anti seize on it, uh, each stud, we're going to put the rest of the hardware on and then it's just uh, another minute or so to just go around and tighten it up. We use all type 316 stainless, the nuts, the lock washers. Fitting body, plates, everything. Um, we just make a killer fitting. Been making this product line for over 20 years now. Got it down to a science, man. You guys make a beautiful product, there's no doubt about it. And we do these in sizes starting all the way down to half inch. And in pipe thread, we go to four inch, and then we go up to um, six and eight inch. Uh, we do groove lock. And then you can do uh, groove lock or uh, Victolic, if you will, uh, fittings on it, or you can um, uh, add an ANSI flange adapter too and use 150 pound flanges. Those were the first two. I think we forgot to get a little extra anti seize on, so it's so easy to do it here rather than have it gall and lock up on you. So, took an extra 15 seconds. Totally worth it. So you're going to run them all down by hand, as tight as you can, and we're going to use a torque wrench. And that is a quarter inch EPDM gasket, and I think it's, uh, what is it, 60 or 70 durometer, Peter? 70. So pretty stiff. Again, just like tightening the wheel on your car, you're going to go in a rotating pattern that's going to pull the fitting down equally and crush the gasket equally all the way around. When we get to the end of this tightening sequence, then we'll double check it and go radially all the way around. And we're all done, just do one last check. 
you know what you have your wrench set to for this fitting? 25 foot pounds. Okay, there you go. I think just uh, for what it's worth, it takes about 70 foot pounds. You might even take 100 to break these studs. We did some destructive testing a long time ago, and it's pretty incredible how strong they are. But they seal with 25. In fact, our welds on our studs, because these are stud welded, um, separate video I'll do and I'll show you a detail on how uh, beautiful these fittings are. But we use a stud welder. That weld is so strong that we can snap that stud. We put it in a, a, a vice fixture and we set it up and we can over torque it till we snap the stud, but the weld will not break. So the weld is stronger than the stud itself. And that's it. Four inch type 316 stainless steel rhino tank fitting. Love this product. Killer product. It's been great for us. Um, customers love them. Uh, once they, they start using our stuff, they never quit. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we really love putting these together. There'll be more in the future. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, give us a call. Our team's here and ready to help. 877-655-7100.